hello friends welcome back to the automation revolution today in this video i will explain you how to make a commissioning using starter software so here we have uh, siemens starter software and then we need uh, usb cable and uh, drive module so first of all uh, we will go for project and uh, we will open new project here i will give name and you can save the path here uh, we are getting this option uh, this side we are getting project navigator and uh, from this project tree we will insert the power module so right now uh, in our case we have uh, cu 250 uh, as 2 pn vector this power module and uh, i will select this power module So after selecting this power module, uh, we will configure the drive unit. So we can click on this option. And here we are getting uh, this pop-up window. From there, uh, we will select the exactly part number. So in this uh, case, we have this order number. So that we will select as per our requirement. And we will go for next and then we will start the commissioning so click on the finish so after selecting this uh, control unit uh, we will go for uh, configuration so first uh, we will select the control type so in our case we will select vbif control with uh, linear characteristics and then we go to next and here we will select the default settings for the input output configuration so here i will select uh, standard input output with analog set point and next here uh, we will configure the drive properties so right now in this case we will keep as it is and then we will go next here we will select uh, motor data so I will go for the induction motor because we have connected induction motor with this AC drive and then next here we will enter uh, motor data as per the nameplate uh, given so we will enter the rated motor voltage 415 and rated motor current so 0.61 ampere and motor power 0.18 kilowatt and power factor 0.73 and motor rated frequency 50 hertz and a motor rated rpm that will enter 370 and we are not using cooling type so we will keep as it is and uh, here we can uh, select star or delta connection uh, whatever uh, we have connected uh, from the motor terminal then go for next if you uh, want to make motor identification so here we are getting options identification motor data with optimizing speed control identifying uh, motor data at standstill condition or optimizing speed control so here uh, we will go for inhibit it because we don't want uh, identification right now and then go for next here uh, we will add current limit so i will keep as it is as per the load or application you can set the current limit then minimum or maximum speed we can enter uh, ramp up or ramp up uh, down time so based on application and load uh, you can set this ramp up time and ramp down time and uh, of three ramp down time you can set then next the calculation of the motor parameters uh, so here we have completed if you have connected this encoder you can select the encoder 1 or 2 and then uh, finally we are getting summary so whatever uh, parameters data we have entered that uh, we are getting in the last summary and uh, if you want uh, this text file so you can uh, copy text file and uh, you can save then we will go for finish 
so right now uh, we are in offline mode and uh, here we are getting this option connect the uh, selected target device so I'll click on that button and uh, here we will select this target device G120 uh, CU250S 2 pn vector and the access point uh, we need this device and we will go for ok so you can see uh, right now uh, we are in online mode and uh, if you are not getting this online mode so you have to uh, make one settings from this uh, set pgpc interface so you can go for option and you can set pgpc interface and here uh, we have to make this command s7 online 2 usb uh, s7 usb so please make this settings if you are not getting online and ok so after making successful uh, commissioning we will open control unit and here uh, we will get additional information about this drive unit you can see here uh, we are getting this control unit uh, type order number and version then here we are getting motor data if you want to know about interface you can click here so here uh, we have connected this uh, cinemix drive with usb cable so that uh, details uh, we can get here and online access point pgpc interface and uh, targeted device uh, id we are getting from here after that uh, we will switch into export list in export list we are getting all parameters uh, that are readable or so that programmable uh, parameters also we can uh, access and based on application and uh, requirement you can change the settings and parameters then we will go for drive navigator and here uh, we are getting options drive configuration commissioning and diagnosis so if you want to uh, configure drive so you can also configure from here so you can see uh, the same option we are getting from the uh, this drive configuration here we have already uh, done the commissioning and uh, this is the option for this commissioning now uh, after commissioning i want to uh, run the motor from the starter so we will go for the allow, uh, allow motor to run turn so then uh, in downside we will get here uh, this control panel so i will click on assume control priority and then we will accept the safety nodes and then uh, i will click on enable button so here we are getting uh, this button to drive on this is for drive off and this one uh, to run this motor into uh, jog mode here we will enter the maximum rpm or speed and uh, i will click on this button drive on so now uh, drive is started and motor is running and when i click on this button so drive will be off so here we have uh, connected this usb cable uh, with this pc this button so you can see now motor is on Now I will make this motor off from this starter software. You can see now motor is off. I can control this motor uh, from this jog mode. So this is button for jog. So while I will keep uh, pressing this button, so motor will be run and while I will release this button, motor will be off. So this is how we can uh, control uh, this drive from starter software in our next video we will uh, see uh, detailed information 
uh, about the starter software so please keep watching and uh, share and subscribe thank you very much for watching